Aris. Hello, Siti. How is school? I'm enjoying every minute of it. Uh, what are we going to learn today, Mr. Aris? Today, we are going to learn about note expansion. You will be requested to write sentences based on a series of pictures, and some words too will be given to help you. That sounds exciting. I'm ready to learn, Mr. Aris. Please teach me how it is done. All right, Siti. Let's get started. Now, for this type of question, you'll be given some pictures, usually a series of events or situations. Now, you're supposed to observe the pictures, understand the sequence of events, and refer to the words given before attempting to answer the question. The pictures in this section can relate to an activity, an incident, a place, a plant, an animal, people, or other situations. The pictures show Amin and his work. Use all the words given to make sentences to describe the pictures. You may use the words in any order you like to make your description interesting. First, study the pictures carefully. Understand the order of events. Pay attention to the words given. So, Siti, first, you have to read carefully the information given. Now, what is it about, Siti? It is about Amin, who works as a chef. He is famous and he appears on television. Hmm. I would say that you already have a clear understanding of what you see in the picture. Well, are you ready to construct your sentences now, Siti? Sure. In order to answer the questions, you are required to build up your vocabulary of adjectives and adverbs to enable you to use the correct and best word. Be careful about using adjectives and adverbs. An adjective is used to describe a noun or pronoun to give more information about the size, shape, color, or age of a person, a place, or a thing. An adverb is used to describe a verb, an adjective, or another adverb to give more information about an action or the state of the action. Pay attention to your tenses. The words given will give an idea which tense to use. Some comparison requires you to use the present tense and some to use past tense. Use conjunctions to link your sentences. This will make your sentences flow smoothly. For example, you can use and, then, so, while, and many more. All right, Siti. Before starting, remember to use all the words given, but it is not necessary for you to use them in the order in which they appear. Yes, Mr. Aris. But before that, what can you say about the tenses for this question? From the words given, we know that we have to use the present tense. That's right. I believe... You're ready to start composing your observations. Now, back to our question again.
Okay, let's hear your sentence, Siti. From the first picture, I can write, I mean, is a chef. He works in a hotel. He has been working for 10 years. Very well. How about the second picture? From the second picture, I would write, I mean, is famous. He cooks tasty dishes. People come to see him for his recipes. Beautifully put, Siti. Now, how about the third one? Amin is hardworking. He prepares new dishes. He appears as a guest on television shows. All right, Siti. I can see that you're capable of making good sentences. Now, let's make them better. How do I do that, Mr. Aris? Well, I know you have been reading a lot. So why don't you recall some of the sentences that you have come across in those books? Okay, I know I can add more words or perhaps combine some sentences. Um, that's one way. Why don't you try that? for the first picture. Mm. Amin is a chef. He works in a hotel. He has been working for 10 years. Let me try. Amin is a chef who works in a big hotel. He has been working there for 10 years. How does that sound? I can see that you have combined the first two sentences. That's good, Siti. Can I add a bit more? Of course you may. Let's listen to it. Amin is a chef who works in a big hotel in Kuala Lumpur. He has been working there for 10 years. That's the way to do it. You have actually added more information to the sentence. Now, let's get to the second picture. Amin is famous. He cooks tasty dishes. People come to see him for his recipes. So, this will become, He is famous because he cooks tasty dishes. Many people come to see him to ask for his recipes. Very well. You have added the pronoun he instead of repeating the name Amin. You have also added the conjunction because to join the two sentences. You have also used many and the phrase to ask, which explains the sentence better. Very well done, Siti. Thanks, Mr. Aris. Let me try to make better sentences for the third picture. Amin is hardworking. He prepares new dishes. He appears as a guest on television shows. That would become... Amin is a very hardworking man. He prepares a lot of new dishes. He often appears as a guest on television shows. Excellent, Siti. You have used very, a lot of, and often in your sentences this time. Now, these seem to have given us more information about Amin to describe him as a person. Now, can you see... It is not really necessary to use difficult words in answering this type of question. Yes, I can see that, Mr. Aris. Now, these are some of the important points to note when answering for your examination. Now, Siti, can you read all the sentences you have constructed? Amin is a chef who works in a big hotel in Kuala Lumpur. He has been working there for 10 years. He is famous because he cooks tasty dishes. Many people come to see him to ask for his recipes. 
Amin is a very hard working man. He prepares a lot of new dishes. He often appears as a guest on television shows. Well, Siti, I hope you've learned something useful today. Yes, Mr. Aris. I know I can write better now. That's wonderful. Now, let's recap some of the important points to remember when writing your notes expansion. All right, friends. First, study the pictures carefully. Understand the order of events. Pay attention to the words given to check your tenses. Some notes require you to use the present tense and some to use past tense. The word given will give an idea which tense to use. Link your sentences well. You may use conjunctions which will make your sentences flow smoothly. And don't forget to read your comparison after you have completed it. And check for mistakes in spelling, grammar, and punctuation. You may also use a variety of sentence structures and a wide range of vocabulary to express your ideas. All right, Siti. You have remembered well. So that's all for now. Till we meet again for our next lesson, take care. And bye, Siti. Bye, Mr. Aris. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>